uh, there are problems lazima kutakuwa na shida wakati ya baridi so i think uh, we get into the ask the girls today and this is what someone says they say uh huh oh it's a bit long hello ladies looking amazing i am fiona from kericho please help me my husband is a mechanic and i am okay with him cuz he's a good provider and he loves us but he's been bathing only in the mornings and when he comes home at night sometimes he's so sweaty so i humbly told him to be bathing before we go to bed and it uh, it's as if um, i caught a live wire he told me how anaume nimeona wasafi niende kwao and even told me haniguzi tena ju atanipaka uchafu now i'm wondering what's wrong with requesting him to humbly take a bath now in the morning he went without taking breakfast and now he has come when he was going eh, sorry and now he's come and when he was going to the bedroom to wear his shorts he passed by me at the bedroom door and told me see si usonge nisikupake uchafu even told the kids kujeni baba yenu mchafu amekuja what could be eating him cuz it is as if ananitafuta <laughs> that's clearly a trigger for him okay i think that's yeah that i think that's where the issue is coming from mm -hmm. people people are very complex human beings i can imagine if this person went to a traumatic time uh, in his life and someone was like wait una kwanga unanuka tu or he's experienced people saying things like that to him and now the one place where he's supposed to feel home and feel safe the person also instigates the same kind of agenda and it feels like a personal attack because you're supposed to be my person why are you attacking me mm -hmm. um and I, ultimately this is where we go back to tone 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 could have said it in a way that maybe was a bit mm, and then it was taken offensively but ultimately i think in any case there's only one solution sit him down let's talk hey when i told you to be taking a shower before you go to bed i didn't mean it in an offensive way i was just saying we were all coming from from wherever we're coming from we're sweaty you know it helps you relax it's just a way of taking away or like you know rinsing off your day it's calming it's therapeutic it is all of these beautiful things and i know taking a shower can be such a trigger because even now i'm very triggered when someone tells me to take a shower i'm just like do i stink is that are you saying i smell and sometimes it's just like hey just take a shower you'll feel better you'll sleep better but i completely understand where he's coming from so i think in this case just sit him down and try and explain uh what your motivation was just in a simple like hey babe i didn't really mean anything by it i'm just saying um you know you work hard and of course you're going to have your whole day on you so it's just a way of you like just like eh. so we can all sleep better cuz sleeping with a sweaty man mhm uh -huh. Mm -hmm. You can't even sleep you feel it up here you know you start to, to have a migraine right it's very here humid. it is it Ooh. is it is it is musty a sweaty man yo and it happens to it's not just mechanics it's just people i don't know what's happening with men in general they are just men most men have that very musky scent to them i don't get it um and it's just like yeah uchovu asiku mzima Na 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 na. Yeah, so just explain to him why it's important to take a shower and it's it wasn't from an offensive place. I'm just like, babe, I'm mm -hmm. really trying to help myself and help you by making sure you showered. That's true. So. True, true, true. Yeah, I I feel like that is clearly a huge trigger for him mm -hmm. and you probably did not know this about him. Yeah. It could stem from yeah, his profession, he's worked around people, people have told him he's thinking blah blah blah. Mm. You know, Yeah, I think just talk to him again yeah, and tell politely. him babe, babe. But he's also very childish for doing what he's doing right now. But no, my finger. He's also being very childish about her, it. So I don't understand where your frustration is coming from because even if my partner was triggered by something There's a way he'd communicate that. The so passive aggressiveness. Yeah, that passive talking. aggressiveness would also piss me off. Yeah. I'd be like, "Eh, now you're all mad." Exactly. Now all of us are mad. So mm. my advice for you is be the bigger person. Mm. Just see it as his little feelings were hurt. Mm. His feeling some type of way mm. and he's acting out like the, you know, mm -hmm. child he is. Mm. So <laughs> talk to him again. Say, mm -hmm. "Babes, 
I did not mean that. If it helps, we can shower together. Together. We can yes, shower we together. Okay. Yeah. The children go to sleep. It is you, you and, and me, I. You baby. No. I'll be your mommy water. <laughs> Do things. Just be the bigger person because clearly that triggers him a lot. <laughs> Woo. Woo. But yeah, being told you stink is not like the cutest thing ever. Exactly. Even when I even find it difficult telling someone your breath your breath is hot. Bro. Your breath is hot. Like man. it's difficult to tell someone because you're just like, wow, what if they take it like offensively? But like now it's affecting you every day. It's the same mouth, it's the same smell, it's mm -hmm. the same <laughs> hey, hey, hey. At mm -hmm. some point, you gotta tell somebody.